Hello, welcome to this session on the design of clutches. In the subject design of machine elements 2, that is subject code 18 ME 62. So in the last two sessions, we have discussed about the design of single plate clutch and its numerical. In this session, I will be discussing on the multi-plate clutch theory and numerical. Myself, Sandesh Kamat, Assistant Professor, Mechanical Department, Kenra Engineering College. Next, coming to the second type of clutch in the friction clutch, that is multi-plate clutch. So, as the name suggests, here there will be multiple uh, number of plates more than uh, one so uh, let's see the uh, working of uh, multiple plate clutch so here there will be two types of uh, two sets of plates or discs as we can see from the figure one of the type is uh, of here you can see the disc set a so they are usually made up of hardened steel while those of the set B are made up of bronze. So discs of set A are connected to the driven shafts with the help of splines. So because of the splines, uh, they will be able to uh, move axially on the shaft that is the driven shaft. So there are also four through bolts which pass through the holes in the discs or plates of set B. So we can see here the bolt. So there will be also a clearance provided between the bolt and the holes in the plates so, so as to uh, allow the discs of set B to move in the axial direction on these bolts. So these bolts are rigidly fixed to the rotating drum which will be key to the driving shaft here this is the driving shaft here we have the driven shaft so the axial force p or f which is required to hold these discs together is provided with the help of springs when the driving shaft rotates the drum along with the bolts as well as the discs of this set b which are uh, mounted on these bolts rotate as one unit and power is transmitted from the discs of set B to the discs of set A with the help of friction that is when the discs of set A are, uh, are coming into contact with the discs of set B with the help of uh, friction the power is transmitted so Therefore, when the discs of set A rotate, they transmit the power to the driven shaft with the help of splines. So, as we have seen in case of multiple uh, plate clutches, there will be more than one plate. And so, depending upon the total number of plates, there will be the number of contacting surfaces will vary. So, Equations which are derived for the torque transmitting capacity of the single plate clutch are modified to account for this uh, to calculate the number of pairs of contacting surfaces. So that is done in the following way. So let N1 be the number of discs on the driving shaft and let N2 be the number of discs or plates on the driven shaft. So now the number of pairs of contact surfaces that is n dash let us denote it by n dash that is given by total number of uh, discs that is on the driving shaft plus on the driven shaft minus 1 okay so total number of plates minus 1 
so that will give us the number of pairs of contact surfaces so you can see from this figure also there are five uh, plates or discs so in that set a consists of three discs whereas set b consists of two discs so total number of plates or discs will be 3 plus 2 that is 5 and the number of pairs of contacting surfaces are uh, total number of plates minus 1 that is 1 2 3 4 total four pairs of contacting surfaces so uh, therefore coming to the number of discs or plates on the driving shaft it can be given by the uh, number of friction surfaces divided by 2 same way the number of discs on the driven shaft is given by uh, whatever we have calculated just now that is the number of discs on the driving shaft plus 1 so that is uh, there will be one uh, plate extra on the driven shaft coming to the problem on multi plate clutches so a problem is given in which a multi plate clutch having effective outer diameter 250 mm and inner diameter 150 mm has to transmit 60 kW at 1200 rpm the interest is 4.5 kN and coefficient of friction is 0.08 calculate the number of plates assuming first one uniform wear and second one uniform pressure distribution on the plates So in this problem, they are given the outside diameter and inside diameter. The power is also given with, along with RPM and the axial force. N plus means the axial force. It is 4.5 kilonewton is given, and the coefficient of friction is given as 0.08. So using the both the criteria, that is the uniform wear and uniform pressure, we need to find out. Uh, uh, we need to find out the total number of plates which are required. so we have the relation between the power and torque given by p is equal to 2 pi nt divided by 16 into 10 power 6 because here the power and rpm are known so we can by substituting the these things we can find out the value of torque so torque value will be 477464.82 newton millimeters coming to the first criteria that is the uniform wear theory the mean diameter is given by dm is equal to d0 plus di by 2 that is 250 plus 150 by 2 that will give uh, the mean diameter 200 mm then the torque equation is given by see the equations are same whatever uh, equations we have taken for the single plate clutch same equations are applicable to the multiple plate clutches also So equation number 13.9 f uh, for the case of uniform wear is taken and substituted for all the parameters torque coefficient of friction then uh, axial force is given 4.5 kN per meter as 4500 newton and the mean diameter so we can find out the number of friction surfaces or that is n dash will be 13.26 so equating to the next even number so always we, when we find out this the number of pairs of surfaces we equate it to the next even number so therefore the total number of plates is given by whatever the total number of friction surfaces plus 1 that will give the total number of plates as 14 plus 1 that is 15 Next, coming to the uniform pressure theory, the mean diameter is given by dm is equal to 2 by 3 into d naught cube minus di cube divided by d naught square minus di square. So, substituting the values of outside diameter and inside diameter, we get the value of dm as 204.17 millimeters. So, we have the equation for torque given by the equation for 13.9 f for the uniform pressure theory. So, substituting all the values, the torque. and uh, other uh, parameters like coefficient of friction axial force and mean diameter mean diameter in this case is 204.17 so we get we will get the value of the n dash this number of friction surfaces for the case of uniform pressure as 12.99 so equating 
to the next even number get the value as as 40 and therefore the total number of grades will be number of friction surfaces n dash plus 1 uh, that is 15 again for the case of uniform fashion so for both the cases we got the number of plates as uh, 15 only Coming to the next problem, problem number 6, a multi, multi disc clutch is required to transmit 25 kW at 1400 rpm. The maximum and minimum diameters of discs are 300 mm and 100 mm respectively. Assuming coefficient of friction as 0.2, the pressure between the contact surface is 0.08 MPa, determine the axial force necessary to engage the clutch the number of friction surfaces and the number of discs on the driver and driven shafts. So in this case, uh, they have given the power and RPM, maximum and minimum diameters, D0 and DI both are given. Mu is given, pressure is also given. We have to find out what is the axial force FA that is required to engage the clutch and also the number of friction surfaces that is nothing but N dash and the number of discs that is uh, N1 and N2 respectively on the driver and the driven shafts. So also they have given the assume uniform wear theory so that is given in the problem. So writing down the whatever the given uh, data. First of all, the axial force necessary to engage the clutch. For the uniform wear case, the equation is given by the equation number 13.9 D. So substituting all the parameters, the pressure is 0.08 MPa and inside diameter is 100, outside diameter is 300. Substituting, we get the value of uh, axial force as 2513.27 Newtons. The number of friction surfaces M dash is given by total number of plates minus 1 where N1 is given by uh, the number of plates on the driving shaft is N dash by 2 and N2 the number of plates on the driven shaft given by N dash by 2 plus 1. So we have the <coughs> relation between the power and torque given by P is equal to 2 pi by 16 to 10 power 6. So substituting the values of uh, power that is 25 kW and PM 1400. So the value of torque we are going to get is 170535.71 Newton millimeter. So once we find out the value of torque, we can use the equation number 13.9 F for the case of uniform wear. Uh, and uh, in which the mean diameter dm or dmw is given by d0 plus di divided by 2 that is uh, 200 mm and substituting the value of torque and uh, other parameters into the equation number 13.9 f so we are going to get the value of uh, the number of pairs of contact surfaces n dash as 3.392 uh, which can be equated to 4 and then the number of plates on the driving shaft is given by n dash by 2 so it is 4 by 2 that is 2 and the number of plates on the driven shaft that is n dash by 2 plus 1 or this 2 plus 1 that is 3 coming to the next problem in a multiplate clutch, radial width of the friction material is to be 0.2 of the maximum radius. The coefficient of friction is 0.25. The clutch is 60 kW at 3000 rpm. Its maximum diameter is 250 mm and the axial force is limited to uh, 600 Newton. Determine the number of driving and driven plates, mean unit pressure on each contact surface assume uniform wear theory so in this problem they have given the uh, radial width uh, that is nothing but uh, 
small v as 0.2 times the outer radius and coefficient of friction is given power is given rpm outside diameter is given so therefore and also the axial force is given so uh, and also the type of uh, condition that is uniform wear theory is given in the problem so we know that uh, the face width or the radial width of the friction material can be given by v is equal to r not minus r i so this v is given as 0.2 times the outside uh, radius so that is given here so therefore uh, we can write this equation and therefore from this equation we can uh, get uh, 0.8 r not is equal to r i or we can write the inside diameter as 0.8 times the outside diameter so that will be 200 mm inside diameter the mean diameter dm is given by d not plus di divided by 2 that is 250 plus 200 by 2 that is 225 mm next coming to the equation for finding out the torque using the power we have p is equal to 2 pi by 16 into 10 power 6 so substituting the value of power that is 60 kilowatt and uh, rpm is 3000 so the torque value will be 191000 newton millimeters also torque t is given by the equation half into mu n dash fa w into dmw so therefore substituting for the value of the torque the coefficient of friction that is 0.25 and axial force given in the problem is 600 newton and mean diameter is 225 mm so we will get the value of number of friction surfaces n dash s 11.32 so let's say uh, that will be approximated to 12 the number of plates on the driving shaft is given by n1 is equal to n dash by 2 that is uh, 12 by 2 that is 6 the number of plates on the driven shaft is given by n2 is equal to n dash by 2 plus 1 that is 6 plus 1 that is 7 number of discs next next in the second part uh, the mean unit pressure is asked so therefore we have the equation uh, equation number 13.9d for the axial force given by Half into pi into p max di into d not minus di. So from this equation, uh, let's substitute uh, p m that is the mean pressure in place of p max and d m that is mean diameter in place of di. So by using this, we'll be able to find out what will be the mean unit pressure because. Uh, rest uh, all the other things we know so substituting this the values that is axial force 600 newton then here this this will be the mean pressure pm into mean diameter 225 mm and then we have the outer and inside diameter so we are going to get the value of the pressure as 0.034 megapascal